Welcome back, and uh, next section we shall be going through the Castle Eblon. Let's go ahead and hop in your hovercraft and head on around these rocks here. Dump there. You can save if you want, if you haven't already. Head on inside. You go ahead and snag this chest real fast. A shuriken, which is a very expensive item, considering it's only a one-use item. Later on in the game, they cost uh, something like 30, 20 or 30,000 a piece, which is a little steep. I'm going to go ahead and keep running away from these guys. Our level should be sufficient for now. And that fast we have reached Eblon itself, or what was formerly, formerly Eblon is now here, I guess you could say. So, um, we're kind of running low on tents, so I'm going to pick up a stack of those, and uh, I think I'm going to pick up a stack of cabins as well. Cabin definitely can come in handy here before long. I'm going to take a rest at the end real fast. Let's speed through this real quick. See what's on in here. Uh, we got some uh, a weapon vendor here. We got uh, pretty much the stuff we bought. Um, it's actually the only thing worth buying. Nothing, nothing worth buying at all. Um, as far as the armor goes, I'm gonna buy an ice shield. Well, hold on. We got one ice shield and one ice armor, so we need one of each because we're going to face Rubicant. And we don't even come close to the gold we need for that, so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, equip Rydia and Rosa up with their lovely new outfits. If I can hit the right one. I've been struggling with this today. I'm trying to make this video way too fast, but I'm trying to. Uh, actually, uh, Rosa can't use the the black armor. Um, actually, the ice armor I, I can deal with just not having that because I'm gonna be able to probably take down the fire fiend without needing it. There, there's nothing much in here right here. Is uh, the refugees? from uh, Castle Eblon being attacked. Um, we're just going to go on and bust through here real quick. Grab a couple of these treasure chests. I'm probably not going to grab them all because there's no real big items. It's mainly consumables. There you just saw some giant bats and some cave bats. Another shuriken right there. It's going to be very, very nice later on. Um, I'm not worried about these bats. If you're low on level, kill them. They give good experience. And you can probably take them out with a fire spell real fast. Alright, I'm going to grab all five of these chests since they're right here. Skulls that I just ran away from, they can be taken out with a fire spell real fast too, but like I said, my level's okay. Two elixirs is freaking amazing. Try and get through this cave as fast as possible. I'm going to skip that chest down there, it's nothing important. Just another, uh, probably a cure two or a life or something like that. 800 gold, not even really worth walking out of there. Well, the loot in here isn't very good, but anyways, we're about to see something interesting here in a few.
Got a save spot right here. And more importantly, there's another secret passageway. Which, very, very obvious. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, open this up. It's too stale, man. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, attack. The, the uh, ice weapon should take them down fairly fast. Um, that's not good. I'm just going to go all out on these guys since the save point's right there. And I don't really need to worry about uh, burning MP or anything because I'm going to stop over there in just a second and get all my stuff back. Fast forward through that a little bit there. I'm gonna go ahead and switch Kane out to his. Uh... Well, where the hell is it? His Blizzard Spear real fast. Probably don't have to jump with him and take less time, and he'll still knock that dude out really fast. It's nice to have that health coming back, but you can't beat when you're facing something that's weak to Blizzard. And I got the Drain Sword, which we'll uh, check out and see what the stat difference is compared to the Ice Brand. Horrible difference there. Definitely, definitely do not want to use the Drain Sword. Drain Spear, okay. Not bad if you really want to use it. I know it's a cool weapon. Uh, drain Sword, don't touch it. We'll go ahead and head out this way. And there's, I think there's a treasure chest off to the left there, but I'm not going to bother with that. I want to see what's going on right here first. You get to watch a little scene here between Edge, who we really don't know who he is yet, and uh, Rubicant, who is the, uh, the fire scene. That's weird. He uh he gets healed by spells. On well, the fire spell at least. And he just butt stomped edge. Uh, edge is probably one of the coolest characters in the game in my opinion. He he's got some pretty strong melee or physical attack. He's also got the throw ability, which is pretty sweet. But, uh, get an edge real quick. Speed through this. Alright. Now we got edge. I'm gonna pick this chest up right here. Ether 2, which is always good. <laughs> 